and welcome to News Across Nigeria on Channels Television. I'm Anne Mwawadu. Coming up on the program today. Group protests against upward review of toll rates at the Admiralty Circle Plaza and Leki Ikoi Link Bridge in Lagos State. Delta State Government is taking precautionary steps to prevent Lassa fever outbreak in the state. And Edo State Government has banned night herding and possession of firearms by cattle herders. Once again, welcome to News Across Nigeria. There was heavy security in the Lekki area of Lagos State today as protesters gathered at the Lekki roundabout to kick against the tariff increase at the Admiralty Toll Plaza and Ikoi Link Bridge. But this did not prevent hoodlums from disrupting the protest organized by a group which calls itself the anti-Lekki tolling movement. Eyewitnesses say that the hoodlums attacked some journalists covering the protest damaging equipment in the process. Members of the movement want a reversal in the tariff increase, which came into effect on February the 1st, 2018. Motorists now pay a minimum upward review of 20% for cars and up to 70% for heavier vehicles. Fresh attacks by suspected Hertzmen in Benue State has left three persons dead. The Hertzmen are reported to have attacked Kosoa village in Anyi local government area of the state. Chairman of the local government, Mr. Nyajo Richard, told Channel's television via telephone that the attackers stormed the village in large numbers last night, opening fire from different directions and burning houses. He confirmed the recovery of one corpse from the scene of the attack, while two victims died while trying to get them to the hospital. Three survivors are receiving treatment currently at the local hospital in Anyi. The divisional police officer has since been mobilized for recovery and search operations for those who are still missing. Meanwhile, the Niger State Governor Sani Bello has earmarked 44,000 hectares of land for two grazing reserves in the state. The two reserves, that's Rijao and Mariga, local government areas of the state, and the governor says that the administration identifies with the federal government's efforts to curb the herders and farmers' clashes in the country. He also commended the professional competency demonstrated by the federal government and security operatives in managing various challenges. As part of measures to curb the trend of illegal activities for that the, uh, of alleged herdsmen, the Edo State Government has already announced a ban on night herding and the possession of firearms by cattle herders. The Governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, made the pronouncement at the end of a security stakeholders meeting with the House of Fulani Community's leadership at the Government House in Benin City, the Edo State Capital. Members of the Hausa Fulani communities in Edo State make their introductions at the Edo State Government House in Benin City, the state capital. The recent spate of alleged Fulani herdsmen attacks in different parts of the country prompted the stakeholders' meeting at the instance of the governor of Edo State, Godwin Obasuki. Mr. Obaseki sets the terms of reference for this forum, expected to proffer lasting solutions to the menace of the alleged rampaging headsmen in the state. As at this morning, you saw what our president did by deploying troops to some states. We thank God that our state is not one of those states because we have been able to manage the situation. The community leaders raised different suggestions on ways of curtailing the excesses of the criminals operating under the guise of cattle herders. As soon as we see them, we will report to government. And government will also provide logistics and some resources to the heroes community leaders. The security agencies are not left out in the discussions. The resident families, the resident houses, the residents in the Our 
Governor Basneki declares some strict measures the state government has taken to forestall crisis from alleged headsmen's atrocities. We are, by this meeting, agreeing and we ban night herding. We, nobody should herd their cattle at night. We will do random searches. Any heads ban we find with arms will be arrested and charged for illegal possession of firearms. A special committee chaired by the governor of Edo State, Mr. Gordon Obaseki, has also been inaugurated to handle the issues of cattle herding in the state. There appears to be a ray of hope for protesting Nigerian Airways workers at the Minister of State for Aviation, Hadi Sirika, has said that the monies will now be paid. He said the matter is being handled by the Ministry of Finance and the National Assembly. The money had been provided by government. Uh, Ministry of Finance is dealing with it. Uh, National Assembly is also playing its role. So I want to plead with those uh, uh, Nigeria was ex-staff uh, that since this didn't happen to them, nobody cared, nobody tendered, and nobody did anything for a decade. And we came in, I thought this, this is unfair. Um, this is lives of other people who have put their uh, entire life uh, to serve this country. So we thought that we should compassionately deal with the matter, which we did, and we provided the, the funding for 45 billion. They should exercise patience while it happens, while everybody will get his entire en entitlement. The Delta State Ministry of Environment is taking precautionary steps to get rid of rats in order to prevent vector-carrying diseases such as the dreaded Lassa fever. The state government is carrying out fumigation exercise in major markets across the state with the aim to creating awareness and to enlighten the people on how to stay safe. Lassa fever is an acute illness transmitted through contaminated food by rodents' urine and hence the proper fumigation of the environment. They say this will help prevent the spread. <laughs> A stitch in time, they say, saves nine. This appears to be what the Delta State Ministry of Environment is bringing to bear after announcing the re-emergence of Lassa fever in the state. As part of measures being taken against the spread of the disease, the ministry is fumigating major markets in the state to get rid of rats that transmit the disease. The exercise begins at the ever-busy Ogogonugo market in Asaba, the state capital. And for some other markets, night fumigation is the only option. Officials of the Ministry of Environment in charge of the fumigation are happy with the level of compliance. So far, it's been a very successful exercise. The executive in the Abraka market, the Aosa leaders, they were very supportive. There was a very good compliance there. Even in cable market, we were so surprised. It means the sensitization by the ministry has really gone a long way because the people were already aware and they don't want to die of Lassa fever and they were applauding the government. Some traders in the affected markets commend the efforts of the government. As regards to the exercise, it's a very nice thing. At least it will help to control the so-called Lassa fever. And uh, it's the good sanitation which is being carried out at the right time. It's also for the interest of the marketers and even those who come to buy from them. So this is a welcome development. According to the Commissioner for Environment, the well-being of all residents is top priority. Measures we've consistizing people that they should get rid of the the vector carrier, which is the rat. Uh, people should cover their food, they should seal their food up, they should not be exposed to, to vectors. So we do deratization every three months. We don't wait for it. That we're always proactive. We are proactive in issue when it comes to disease surveillance. Fumigation is just one part of getting rid of Lassa fever, as the Delta State government also appeals to residents to maintain a high level of hygiene.